Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for 23rd, 24th. I'm doing this one early in the day because tonight I have my live, my live show for the members that have joined. If you have joined, I look forward to it. I've taken heed of the comments that you have made in the community section um, in regards to what you want to talk about. One of the things is numerology. Um, signs to look for, uh, whether things are a coincidence or not, um, and whatever else comes up. So we will have a drink. That's tonight between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So bring your own booze or whatever it is. If you don't drink, whatever. Um, if you have not joined, you have to hit the join button to access the live. I am going to do a test early later on today, a mini live for... Uh, all of my subscribers just to test my new webcam and then tonight between 7 and 8 we will do a live show between could be an hour could be two hours um, just to talk I have a uh, somebody asked um, how I realized my talent so anyway I'm gonna be answering questions we're basically gonna have a talk show with a couple of drinks so if you want to be a part of it uh, hit the join button um, talk to you later so let's get started for the 23rd to the 24th we will probably talk about my intuition cards a little tiny bit uh, what do we got what do we got for the 23rd 24th what do we have now I just see two 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 so twos are about faith and trust it's about partnerships um, duality so Something about a partnership, having faith and trust in the divine, having... It's, it, twos are also a number of intuition. You think about the high priestess. Following your gut. Balance. Ooh, 555. Five, five, power struggles. So expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected in the next, what is it, 48 hours? Because I said 23rd, 24th. So expect the unexpected. Um, there's going to be some divinely guided major life changes. Okay, so get prepared for that. Okay, something big. Okay, when you see 555, five, five, this is big. It's major. It's major. So there is going to be a major change uh, in the next, what, 48 hours. Something is going to change very significantly in your life. So, I mean, you need to have faith and trust that this is happening for a reason. Okay, and it does have to do with a partnership because twos are, are partnerships. You're no longer one, you're two. So something to do with a relationship, a partnership is going to change and it's going to be a big one. Now, when you think about relationships, they're not just love relationships. You have relationships with everybody that you deal with on a regular basis. Okay, so there's going to be a major change. Four of Swords reverse. Now this is somebody. Somebody could be ill. Uh, this is fed up. There could be some significant health issues. Uh, there could be some frustration. Somebody may be feeling isolated. They may need to really go to recovery, or they may need a time of. Uh, well, what I, what I want to say is recuperation. It's, it, you need to heal. You need to heal. You need a time out. You need time to heal. There's like an illness. And I've been seeing this illness. We have somebody here that is ill that needs time to heal. And they need to do it alone, you know, with help. I think that alone, yes, you need to do it alone. But you probably need some professional help. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I will zoom that in just a second. Okay, so we have the world card reversed. Now there's some sort of, somebody hasn't learned their lesson. They may be repeating, you know, repetition, resisting, resisting change, resisting changing a cycle, not learning from mistakes. Um, somebody is in a very stagnant situation and they're not making positive changes. 
um, too much resistance here, resistance to change, resistance to letting go of something and it, stress kills. Somebody is in a stressful situation basically that is killing them. Somebody is also stuck in the present. We have a lot of frustrations here because it's like they, they want success, but they can't find success because they're in a situation that is, uh, exhausting. Okay. This is an exhausting situation. Um, there's lack of willpower here. Somebody doesn't have the willpower to follow through to bring them success. Um, it's like somebody needs an attitude adjustment, but they're refusing to change it. They can't change their thoughts. They can't change their ways. So they may uh, experience um, some sort of illness because they won't change, which is interesting. This is dissatisfying, unrealistic. There's no growth here. This is, uh, it's not worth it anymore. There's, you're not going to get anything out of whatever this situation is that you are trying to hold on to. Um, it's time to relocate. It's time to move. It's time to end this chapter of your life. It, you really, somebody is like refusing to step over the finish line, refusing to accept that there was a lesson that was learned from something. It's like something has come to an end or it needs to come to an end. And it's like uh, refusing to let it end. It's already dead. Okay. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. So you can't, if it's dead, it's dead. Okay. You can't, the only thing you can do now is go someplace else. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to go someplace else. Could be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but this is finding the strength and the confidence and the willpower, the willpower to let go because that is the meaning of the strength card. But we do have somebody here that has been enjoying their power. They have been enjoying their ability to control. But you need to find your ability to restrain yourself from staying in a stagnant situation. I think we have somebody here that is very unhealthy. This card, the first card, this is unhealthy. And it's about ego and it's about control. Somebody is, is, is having a hard time moving out of a situation because of their pride, because of their ego, because of their need to control. We do have a queen, the queen of pentacles here. It looks like these two pe this person is looking at this person. This person ha is solid. This person is stable. This person is dependable. This person is responsible. This person is grounded. This person has everything they need to survive. This person is a survivor. This person has worked really hard to obtain what they have. This person has been holding on to their stability and their security. It's like it's, it's not going anywhere. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Bigger. This person is stable and solid and secure and very comfortable. So we have a very comfortable individual here who, you know, this person, it looks like this person is very successful. This person is very stable. This There's no, sturdy. That's what I'm trying. Very sturdy, very capable, very capable of success. Doesn't, j doesn't, act impulsive. This person is uh, very practical, very responsible. We have a homemaker here. Now, this is not putting in effort, not working hard enough. We do have somebody here that did not nurture a situation when they were supposed to. From the Seven of Pentacles to reverse to the Eight of Pentacles reversed, somebody didn't put in effort. They didn't take care of business when they were supposed to. They slacked. We have a slacker here, somebody that is lazy. This person, somebody could be mentally ill. And it doesn't have to be mentally ill, but illness could be any kind of illness. This is illness. 
So we do have somebody here that is ill. There's some sort of unfinished business here. We have somebody here that is refusing to learn a lesson, refusing to take any advice. They ha aren't putting in any effort at all with these two cards. They aren't putting in any effort at all to change their ways. They feel entitled. I think we have somebody here that feels entitled. But we, we have somebody here also that is very solid, very stable, very secure. This person is very capable of success, doesn't make any rash decisions, moves in a very slow manner. This person is very abundant. There is some sort of sadness that is coming, okay? This is sadness. This is grieving. We have somebody here that um, there could be a loss, okay? This is deep sorrow. Somebody has been focusing on the past, a past separation. Or there's going to be a separation. There, this is a separation. And it's sad. There's a, there, this is a, a sad situation where somebody is losing something and they're losing it because they didn't take care of it when they were supposed to. They didn't. There's a lot of ego and pride here. There's pride and ego in the way of success. Pride and ego in the way of success. Somebody, something didn't grow. Because somebody had such a big ego. Maybe there's a self-image problem. But this is grieving. The Five of Cups. A lot of regrets. Somebody has a lot of regrets. They are regretting not taking action. So we de definitely have somebody here that is feeling the pain. It feels like we have somebody here that is feeling the pain of a loss. This person is stable. They're doing very well. And we could have somebody here that is having regrets for losing this person. Hmm. Yeah, we do. Look at the fives. Five, five so far. Anyway, we somebody does. They have deep regrets. Somebody abandoned. Somebody neglected. They neglected somebody that was loyal. They neglected somebody that was down to earth and took really good care of them over here. They may have gotten themselves involved with somebody that was very controlling. <laughs> you notice now we got one cup up here and two cups down here. It feels like there's, a, it's like they, they, there's an offer of love that has been missed. Somebody missed an opportunity. They missed an opportunity because of a third party. They probably got themselves involved with another person on a rebound. And now they have regrets. They have regrets for not putting in effort with the the one that is... Uh, I mean, this person is such a hard worker. They have They have money in the bank. This person is very successful. So we have a successful individual here that um, is very independent. This person is independent, does it all, takes care of everything. So we have this independent person who is very stable, solid, and secure. But I feel like we have another person that is regretting uh, letting their ego and pride get in the way of a successful relationship. They may, they abandoned this person or they neglected this person. Somebody has been neglected. There's been neglect here. There is. You get the five of pentacles reversed. This is poor health. And this is, we got somebody here that their health is declining. They may be, somebody may be having some financial setbacks as well with the five of pentacles, the seven, the eight of pentacles reversed and the seven of pentacles reversed. Somebody is, is experiencing financial woes because of karma. Karma will hit you right in the bank account because people, you know, that's what feeds your ego. 
Okay, we have ego and pride here. So somebody's bank account or somebody's business or somebody's finances are hurting because of their poor decisions, their inability to make the right choices. We have one person here that is very doing quite well, though, with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. This person has money and is doing very, very well. We have somebody here that is regretting their decisions to neglect and not put in effort when they should have. And now they're experiencing financial setbacks. There's consequences here. Consequences, consequences, consequences. Somebody could be losing a job or they're losing a big contract. Or they're just not getting work. The phone's not ringing. Somebody needed an attitude adjustment with the world reversed. Ooh, three of wands reversed. This is dashed expectations. Somebody wasted a lot of time. Somebody wasn't seeing the opportunities that a person had. And they didn't see it because they were so selfish and consumed with themselves. So it feels to me like, you know, it feels to me like somebody has missed a big opportunity for love and success. And they've missed this opportunity because they let their ego get in the way. They were too self-centered. I don't think we have somebody here that was prepared for what it, what has happened. They, they, are, they are not prepared or they're not prepared for what is about to happen. Okay? There's no preparation for this. You won't feel it. You won't feel it if you're able to prepare. You know, you don't feel the sting if you're able to prepare. And the sting is what uh, wakes you up. So I feel as though we have somebody here that was, was hoping for the best. They were, they were, they were uh, hoping that, you know, they were going to be successful. That, that you know... Uh, They were going to come out on top, but I think their actions were seen. I think that their actions were seen, and I think that their that that uh, their success they're not as successful as they hoped. Okay, they're not as successful as they hoped, and they're not as successful because they didn't put an effort when they should have. It's like they neglected, they ghosted, they gaslighted, they left somebody behind that was very loyal. This person is loyal. Very loyal, very stable, very solid, very uh, dependable, very responsible. Somebody that was, uh, you know, she holds the Ace of Pentacles in her hands. She was long-term potential. She is the pick. Very real. So we have a... Uh, I think that we have somebody here that's getting a reality check. They're they're crying over the loss now. I think they have deep regrets over losing this person that um, has proven themselves to be stable and, and competent. And they're probably... Um, wishing that they could go back by the looks of things. That's what I think. But there's no communication coming through. There's no communication. There's blocked. Somebody may be blocked. Um, somebody may have, be having a difficulty communicating. There could be some jealousy. There could be jealousy issues here. Maybe that's one of the issues is jealousy. Um, I feel like uh, there's definitely some sadness. There's sadness over a loss, missing out on a love opportunity. Um, and it's because we have somebody's pride is so huge that it's like they can't apologize. They can't step forward. They can't communicate because their ego is humongous. It's humongous. This person isn't going to be successful because ego and pride has to come last. Okay, it does. It does. I see a lack of success. 
There's a lack of success because somebody's ego is in the way of obtaining su success. If you want something to be successful, you really have to put in effort. And it's not all about the money. It's not about the things. It's about loyalty. It's about long-term commitment. So anyway, um, somebody has definitely been struggling. They've been struggling to uh, communicate. They've been struggling to move forward. They've been struggling to face their fears. Um, there's been some neglect and somebody is regretting neglecting the one that... Uh, I think they're regretting neglecting the one that they love. And I think there's a loss of the one that they love. It's like there's no contact, there's no communication, there could be no contact now. It's like there's no contact, there's no chance, there's no chance here. It's too late. The ship has already sailed. And maybe why that's what that's why this person is grieving is because the ship has already sailed. So anyway, I feel as though uh Somebody is going to be experiencing a loss in the financial arena or a loss in their, uh, could be a relationship because I saw those twos, a loss of somebody they love is what I'm trying to say because they didn't put effort. They didn't nurture. They didn't take care of things. They they abandoned a person when they should have put in more work. They should have put in more effort. They should have offered assistance. They should have listened. They should have communicated. They should have uh, not jumped into a new relationship. They should have not ran. They should have they should have stuck around. They should have waited. So I think that we have somebody here that has deep regrets for rushing and letting pride and ego get in the way of a successful partnership. There is going to be a loss of of something in the financial arena. Something is going to cost somebody some money. It is. Something is coming to a halt. Somebody is losing something. They're losing something that provided them financial gain. And I feel like when this loss happens, there's going to be no more. It's over. It's too late. It's too tough shit. Too bad. You know, there's no more communication. There's no contact. This is too unhealthy. It's very, this is a very unhealthy situation. We could have somebody ha that has psychological issues. I mean, if you think about the five of pentacles, the five of pentacles is, is, is negative change. It could be financial ruin right here. Somebody could be experiencing, going through some, a situation that causes them financial ruin. Karma works in, in mysterious ways. So what I, you know, I, something is going to come to a halt. It's going to come to a stop. And it's going to come to a quick stop if it hasn't already. And I don't want to scare anybody, but when you look at this, this is a chariot versus a vehicle. And this is coming to a stop and this is coming to a stop. You know, somebody, I mean, I hate to scare people with this, but there are such things as car accidents. So there could definitely be a car accident that costs somebody some money. I'm telling you what, there could be an emotional outburst when you get the chariot reversed. This is some, this is not able to master your emotions, not finding the willpower, not finding the strength, a loss of will, a loss of drive, a loss of ambition. 
Lack of control. This could be car issues, emotions all over the place. This is a disaster ahead. So I think that we have somebody here that is... I mean, accidents come in many forms. It doesn't have to be a car accident. It's like, and they may say this was an accident. They may see it as an accident. You know, it's like this was an accident. It was an accident. I made a mistake. Somebody, you know, somebody made a mistake. And it's like now they realize it. They realize that they made a mistake. So anyway, I feel like there is going to be a... Well, you, like I said, the Seven of Pentacles reverse is a dead end. You, there's no sense in putting any more work in. There's no sense in doing anything because it's over. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye as well with the world card. This is leaving without saying goodbye. All of a sudden, and it is sudden. It is definitely sudden. All of a sudden, somebody's just gone. So just keep that in mind. Expect the unexpected. This is something that you can't prepare for. It's sudden. It is it is definitely sudden. It could be a sudden loss. Okay? There could be a sudden loss here. Um, this Queen of Pentacles has a... She has the gold. Okay? She has the golden opportunity in her hand. And she's waiting. She's waiting for somebody that is solid and stable. She's not just going to give it away to anybody. And perhaps this person is going to be grieving because somebody is showing up. So anyway, my advice is to expect the unexpected. There is going to be some major life changes. It's going to affect somebody's finances for sure. And it's probably going to affect a relationship status. Somebody is going to learn a hard lesson that they have been resisting. They didn't put in effort when they should have. And there's a price to pay. There's consequences for that. Be prepared for some movement. There is definitely, even though this, there's going to be some movement, there absolutely is. This movement is going to cause somebody to have an emotional breakdown. I think it's a breakdown. It could be a mental breakdown. It could land them in the hospital. Um, expect the unexpected. This is a grievance. This is a loss. It really is. Somebody is, is seeing that they missed an opportunity with somebody that was loyal and solid and stable and successful. And it's too late. So you may receive communication from somebody and you may, you may uh, reject it. We have an unsuccessful partnership that is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end uh, abruptly. And it's also going to affect your bank account. Good luck.